In this, in this final video, we talk a little bit about how entrepreneurship expands or extends all the way from each of us as an individual through our group, a work activity, work group, our own company, business, people that we're dealing with, all the way up through the economy as a whole. It has these ripple effects that are so important and why it's, this is such an important field of study and to help us understand how our economic system actually works and how it creates jobs and the like. These are three of the areas that we talk about this entrepreneurial process. And we spent most of what we've talked about in the last few videos in this introductory module about the individual and finding opportunities and thinking about opportunities and what what that means for us as a person who is trying to make your way, make have an impact, start a company, uh, create something that you've always dreamed of, or simply because you want to have a job that you're in control of what you do in your hours and you don't have to report to anybody, um, a boss as you will, you always report to customers and investors and the like, but you don't have a, a nominal boss if you're running your own company or if you're part of a venture, you have a lot to say about what happens at the individual perspective. But you also have these group processes and there are some of the most dynamic and, and uh, difficult to navigate. We work in groups a lot in, in business schools. We work in groups in our social environment, our social uh, system, when you go out to movies or whatever, we do a lot of things in groups. But at the same time with groups, there are dynamics associated with accomplishing things. There has to be feedback about what works and what doesn't work. People work on different things. You have different roles, different assignments, different expertise. Um, you want people that are like you and sort of have the same sense of humor and jokes and things, but you want people to compliment you and are very different, but they think about problems in different ways. And because they think about problems in different ways, have different experiences, different skills, you make a good team, a good partnership. That's the group aspect of it, which is also challenging. Many, many studies of entrepreneurship show that even though generally there's one person that gets, is called the entrepreneur, um, there's usually a cadre of a few people that have different skills and different perspectives that together they're much more successful than they would be separately. Um, Bill Gates had Peter Allen, not Peter Allen, Peter Allen. Allen. I always do this. and um, Steve Jobs had Steve Wozniak, uh, different people grouped together and they start their businesses together. As things get broader though, what we find is that entrepreneur, entrepreneurial activity is fairly, really very important to the economy as a whole. Most of the jobs are starting in startup growth companies. 60%, I believe I've heard that number of jobs are in, that come from growth companies, companies that are fast growing organizations, uh, that come from these entrepreneurial ideas and these developments. Um, the, the, the S&P 500, which are the 500 largest uh, companies in the, uh, in, that are measured, the public companies, um, that group actually turns over quite quickly, quite regularly. And new companies enter that, like Facebook or, or like Twitter or companies like that, that enter this group because of they started small and they grow up and they become large. Uh, like Google and others, they become sort of these old style companies, but they really haven't been around that long. Companies are not around nearly as long as one would expect. The engine that is created by the individual who finds an opportunity, develops it, and grows it into something important is the engine of much of the progress in the capitalist system, the economic system. And that's something to remember. Essentially, the essence of entrepreneurship is the intersection of an opportunity that comes up because trends are changing and enterprising individuals that come together to form a firm, form a company, move forward with that company, have these wide-ranging effects, and ultimately really, really change the way all of us live. That's one of the things that's so exciting about understanding this, not only because you understand the phenomenon, but it gives you a sense that you too, under the right circumstances, with the right ideas and the right skills, you really can have that same kind of impact because that's what entrepreneurship is all about, and that's what we'll talk about over the rest of our modules.